to be considered stop and go traffic, slow and go traffic. sees this car, stop cars, sometimes not recognized by radar. That's why Tesla eliminated use of radar. Okay, let's see how I handle this guy. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Press the brake at the right time. Okay, here we go. Waiting to resume ACC. Waiting to resume ACC. Release brake to resume ACC. So open pilot is still engaged here and it's because of a minor, a, a nice little refinement in JVE pilot. There's a special discord for JVE pilot. And it is easy to install, so. So if you do get a Trackhawk, that's the one to run on, or any Jeep, I guess. Stellantis FCA vehicle. Like, interested in the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE, which is the plug-in hybrid version. The uh, Wrangler, uh-oh, let's see, let's resume here. Take control and get going. This is, might be another chance to use if it stops. Okay, let's see. Okay, here it is, waiting to resume ACC. I did it twice in this stop. Okay, let's now let's go. Okay, so yeah, I think I think this auto resume is pretty usable once you get the timing right and press the brake right when the speed is zero. Probably can't have to press it before it's stopped for like two or three seconds or it cancels. That's the behavior of the <coughs> of the Jeep firmware. But this would be most useful in 2017 and 2018 models because of that, because it steers down to a pretty low speed, nine miles per hour. I think that's even down to six miles per hour in a recent uh, optimization in JVE Pilot. So it's pretty useful. But but newer models they bump that speed up to 39 miles per hour, so it really wouldn't be useful in slow traffic at all because it wouldn't steer below that 39 miles per hour. That's in the table that comic composed. So yeah, this stop and go traffic is, I guess, not as, as the handling of open pilot with JVE pilot extensions for stop and go traffic is really not too bad. Fortunately, I don't have to drive in city traffic that often. Maybe sometimes in Salt Lake City I'll make another video down there. Or California on vacation or something. Okay. Fact. I think I'll end this video at the uh, Jeep dealer here in Logan and see if that track hawk is still on the lot. We could even uh, ask a salesman <laughs> what the price is and if, you know, and if he's ever heard of Open Pilot. And it adds a lot of value to Jeeps. So they could they help a salesman to really know about it.
dealer's heritage that Jeep Ram Dodge in North Logan here. It was just built, I think, this year or the year before. So here we go. So let's cancel Open Pilot. Take over. And I do see the track park here. impressed if they're if the salesmen are up on the 4xe plug-in hybrid okay let's have a look oh, the salesman will, uh, I'll grab the GoPro let's see I can get four this is the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Trail Hawk oh let's see Here's the cool thing about the Trailhawk is, uh, let's see, you have to have doors closed, but um, right here, let's see if you can see that, I can increase the adjustable suspension to um, higher. See that little icon there shows that it, suspension is raising. I go over here to apps, uh, the, let's see, somewhere is the uh, off-road pages. That also kind of shows the status of the suspension. So let's see, like I was saying, it, uh, this is, there's the version of software, JVE Pilot toggles. So just that auto resume is the one that's relevant for stop and go traffic. Other toggles. Oh, and here's the uh, suspension pages. So right now we are in the off-road two setting, which is the highest. That's kind of that's why I love the Trailhawk. It gives it more clearance than the Wrangler, even. Uh, the Trail Trailhawk also has the uh, uh, skid. What are they called? Rock rails, rock steel rock rails for off-roading. There's the. Uh, air suspension that I'm talking about and here's the track hawk I guess um, 2018 Grand Cherokee track hawk with 35,000 miles on it this is $81,000 is their asking price oh hi Oh, I'm making a little video on my Jeep. I have. Is it okay if I keep recording? Yeah, of course. Okay. Go for it. Okay. This is. I, I love my Jeep. It's a 2017 Trailhawk. Yeah. And it has. I put Open Pilot on it, which makes it. And have you heard of Open Pilot? Yeah. It's kind of like Tesla Autopilot. I. Oh, I don't have to so touch nice. the steer. So anyway, it, it would probably work really well on the Trackhawk. Of course, this is super expensive, but somebody on the internet kind of following this open pilot stuff wants to make open pilot drive a Trackhawk. So I'm telling him about this one and, and stuff like that. And I'm also, oh, personally, I'm really interested in the four by E's, which are the oh, plug-in hybrids. They're amazing. And huh? so, yeah, I've never driven one yet, but I, I've, I've watched videos and stuff. So I really want to, I, I'm serious about maybe replacing this one or, or letting my wife have this one and getting the 4xE at Grand Cherokee when it comes out earlier next year. Yeah. The, uh, the Wrangler 4xE would be really interesting, except that this open pilot stuff doesn't work on it. So, so anyway, yeah, nice to, thanks for coming out here. I'll just finish up this video and then we can talk more about like what I would be willing to buy. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, how long have you had this Trackhawk and stuff? I saw online that it, the asking price is eighty thousand dollars, right? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's pretty high performance. Correct. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely a specialty item. Yeah. Just because it's I believe it has the Hemi motor and it has yeah. some really some uh -huh. fun trinkets. Usually we have our hang tags um, that yeah. have our e-price clearly posted. Yeah. I'm not quite sure why this one doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a beautiful car. I. It's yeah. like I said, it's a specialty item. Oh it's yeah. Limited edition. Yeah, they. In the Trackhawk, it's probably made in the 2021, but not 20, 